What's up guys, today we will be putting the two gods of DPS up against each other in this game, first being the Whisper of the Worm and the second being Nikelos Shotgun. Currently they are the two highest damage dealing weapons by far in the game, but they do their damage in two very unique different ways, so let's start breaking it down. First with the Whisper of the Worm, let's look at the damage number on a headshot, it's 1931. And now with the Shotgun, without Trench Barrel it's 864. So now let's look at the rate of fire of the two weapons, first with the Whisper. To shoot 10 shots, I'm going to shoot 10 of both weapons. 10 with the Whisper takes roughly right around 7.163, my bad. Now with the EP Shotgun, it takes 2.855. So using this information, we can find the damage per second of both weapons. The Whisper would be 2696, and Nikelos would be 3026, which means it does 12.2% more damage per second. Now let's break them down with both of their perks active. With Trench Barrel, the Shotgun now hits 1296. And the Whisper of the Worms catalyst is box breathing once we finally get it upgraded. But for now, we can compare it to how the EP Sniper works with box breathing. And in my previous videos, I was getting a lot of comments about how I was getting these numbers. So I'm going to go ahead and break it down for you guys. With the EP Sniper, that was the body shot damage. This is the regular headshot damage. And this will be the box breathing headshot damage here in a second, as you see right here. So if we put all those numbers up on the screen, we can break them down. So once again, here's all the numbers in one shot, so you can see them all. Now if we break down how these work, there's two different ways of doing it. First being the crit modifier, so a regular headshot was 3.5 times damage, but with box breathing it became a 6, so that's an increase of 2.5x or 72.5%. I personally think it works by a percent like everything else in the game, but we'll do both. So with the Whisper of the Worm, here are the body shot and the headshot. So the headshot on this is a 4x, so with box breathing, if it went up by 2.5, that would make it a 6.5 or 72.5% increase on top of the headshot. So if we apply that to the actual number, the headshot could be hitting 25.15 if it was a 6.5x or 3330 if it went by the percent. Like I said, I personally believe the percent is the correct way to do it. So the damage numbers in the future of the Whisperer will be 46.48 or 3511 if it went by the 6.5 and Nikelos with Trench Barrel is 45.39, which means the Whisper will do 2.5% more damage potentially. Another thing to mention is the shotgun can only maintain that DPS for so long. If you empty the entire mag, you can empty it in 6.3 seconds, and Trench Barrel only works for 5 seconds, so the shotgun is very, very burst DPS heavy, and the sniper will outdo it in the long run. As you see here, in the first 6.3 seconds, which you empty the entire uh, clip of EP Shotgun, you still have a lot of ammo, basically infinite ammo left in the sniper if you're using white nail, so the total overall damage output of the whisper is much much higher than the shotgun, but the shotgun is still really good for those scenarios where you need burst reliable damage. So for example, if you're fighting in a lot of majors, the shotgun will be very consistent and will do that high damage number very quickly in a very consistent manner compared to the sniper. And for things with a lot of health like those hydras, once again I two shot them very very consistently and easily. Also with these Major Cabal, same thing, I can easily 3-shot them with Trench Barrel very consistently and easy. And this gun is very good against strike bosses and things like that that will die very quickly and don't have that much total health. This isn't a strike by myself with two randoms with no modifiers, no, uh, no buffs other than Trench Barrel. I take them down to almost a third by myself with the shotgun very easily. So for things like strikes, the shotgun is probably better because the burst potential of the shotgun is much higher and things will die within, you know, a clip each of all three fire team members. But on things like raid bosses that have a lot of health, where the entire damage output of the EP shotgun, even though its burst damage is very, very high, if it does not kill the enemy, it doesn't matter. Once you run out of ammo, you have nothing left to do. And that's where the Whisper really, really shines. On something like Argos, where he has a lot of health, you can one phase him, one shield break with the Whisper. And if you did that with EP shotgun, you'd barely even get him to half. The craziest part is that in Forsaken, we might be able to use both weapons at the same time. There is a very, very high chance that the sniper will stay in the heavy slot, and there's a pretty good chance that the shotgun might move into the special slot. Even if that does not happen, the fact that we will be able to use a shotgun and the whisper at the same time is huge. If I had to give a winner for now, it'd be very hard. We don't quite know exactly how box breathing will work yet, but if it works the way I believe it will, the damage output will almost be identical of the two weapons, and one will just do it at a close range, and one will do it at a far range, but the Whisper has infinite ammo basically, so I might have to give it the edge potentially. No matter what, they are the two best PvE guns in the entire game. Thanks for watching, catch you guys next time.
Oh, and you're hitting that melting. He's on. Please let me pick up the wall. GG's guys. That was really good. Yeah, this gun's actually nuts. That's like such an easy strategy. Yeah, like for real, like that was so easy.